If you had to be a meteorologist, Bobby Martin, here with your Outlook for July 21st, 2021. We're going to start off with the haze again this morning. We had a lot of haze and smoke over the region yesterday, and uh, some of you even reported that you could smell it, um, you know, especially earlier in the morning and towards sunset. And we had provided some, uh, uh, you know, almost like a fog like appearance yesterday, uh, where the uh, typically we have a wildfire smoke brought in from the western U.S. and western Canada. It, uh, it it it's generally elevated by the time it gets here. And, and yesterday we had near surface uh, smoke making it all the way down to the surface, so you could actually smell it in some cases, and it obscured the sun pretty good yesterday. So it prevented us from getting to our forecast high temperatures. The models can't really integrate smoke into that whole process of uh, uh, you know what's going on synoptically. So it's looking at uh, you know as if it's just a mostly sunny day, which it would have been yesterday had it not been for the smoke and uh, obscuring the sky. So we are going to start off with that today. And uh, we're going to have that uh, th until a cold front moves through today. Now, I don't have the updated graphics from the uh, high-resolution rapid refresh that has the smoke um, forecasts. And I just didn't uh, they didn't update today. So uh, yesterday when they did update, it was showing that once the cold front moved through, that it would kick all of this out of here. And that's the thinking today that once the cold front moves through the region today, it will finally kick out the, the, the smoke particles out of the atmosphere and uh, kind of wash them away. So cold front is going to come through rather early today. We're not going to be dealing with a big severe weather day northwest of I-95. I think southeast of I-95, you have a little bit of a shot. Uh, even if just isolated, we'll have an opportunity here later in the day for some scattered thunderstorms down there that will have uh, maybe a little bit stronger wind potential. And we're talking, when I say stronger, probably about 40 to 50 mile per hour upsides i don't think we're dealing with like a 60 to 70 mile per hour winds today but with the storm prediction center who knows uh, they, they kind of do what they want and uh you know it wouldn't surprise me if they put up a severe thunderstorm watch with wording that says up to 70. i don't see it but we'll see uh so we have uh, the cold front moving through today and here's what the nams take is and again if you live uh, in the interior meaning uh northern pennsylvania northeast pa i don't think you're you might not get anything at all today possible uh maybe just something initiating in the southern portions of northeast pa like uh you know over the southern poconos and back to you know uh union and snyder counties out here in central pa but i think the bulk of the activity is going to form south of the front and it's going to come in rather early this is looking at two o'clock in the afternoon and you already have activity ongoing out here by harrisburg heading toward lancaster some stuff popping over uh central and southern new jersey at this point but you see that this is an initiation, so this is nothing really going on in Northeast PA except the far southern portions. So in our central regions today, which would be these areas right here, I think these areas right here are generally isolated for any thunderstorm activity today. Uh, anything south of there will be a little bit more scattered, but I think if you're going to deal with severe weather, it's probably going to be southeast of I-95 in both Pennsylvania and New Jersey and, of course, Delaware. Okay, so... Southeast of I-95 is your better chance. Here's what the Storm Prediction Center has for today. I uh, don't necessarily agree with this, especially this far north. I think it's going to be more kind of like down here uh, where you have the opportunity for some of that scattered activity to possibly go a little bit stronger. Uh, but I think that, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how this works out. But I think that as you move this forward here in time with the NAM, again, this is mid-afternoon. This is 3 o'clock. So this is going to come through quick. This is going to be done by just about dinner time or maybe just after that, okay? So this is going to be pretty uh, pretty quick in and out with this uh, with this cold front. And again, once it moves through, winds are going to shift to the northwest. It's going to kick out all the, all the smoke out of here. Uh, but isolated in those areas I circled, southeast are a little bit more scattered. Northwest of there, maybe not even anything at all today. Okay, so that's what you're dealing with with uh, your storms today. Again, any severe storms or anything approaching severe would be wind-related. Okay, and that's going to be straight-line wind uh, potential for any of these individual cells. And it would be isolated if that were to occur. I think the most likely areas to see that are going to be southeast of that circle I drew, okay? Where it's more scattered and later in the afternoon to be able to take a, an advantage of a little bit more heating today. So if you look at the spread of temperatures, 78 degrees in our far northwestern areas, that would be up by Williamsport and the high, highest uh, elevations of the, of, the, uh, of the Poconos. Southeastern uh, areas down by Philadelphia. And interior southern New Jersey, Delaware, we're looking at about 87 today. So a little bit more heating to and, and instability able to increase down in those areas with those higher temperatures in place today. But tomorrow, 
Uh, once this front goes through, we're going to have a nice couple of days with gen temperatures, uh, temperatures generally in the 80 to 85 degree range uh, for, for both Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday, still mostly sunny, but we're going to be going uh, to temperatures only gradually increasing, maybe up to the middle 80s uh, here on Saturday, on either side of the middle 80s. So not a bad couple of days here. A nice stretch here. And again, we're kicking out that smoke, so it should be a little bit uh, nicer, a little bit more enjoyable. Uh, again, here, once we get past uh, today, this front moves off the coast. Here's Thursday. Absolutely nothing but mostly sunny skies here on, on Thursday. And again, no smoke. So we're looking at uh, Friday now. Uh, we're looking at maybe a reinforcing front coming through the region. The precipitation along that frontal boundary has kind of went, gone away universally across all guidance. So there will be kind of a reinforcing shot of cool air, but there's really no uh precipitation shown here on anything for friday so we're going to back off that for for friday and just say that uh maybe something stray possible but I, I i just don't see it being a big deal uh mostly sunny otherwise and then when we get to saturday we have another mostly sunny day the next chance for precipitation is going to come sunday with another area low pressure moving through uh the ontario and southeastern quebec provinces provinces in canada it's going to drag a cold front through the region here, and you can have some scattered showers and thunderstorms later in the day on Sunday. But I think most of the weekend before that is going to be dry, so it's a pretty good weekend overall. Just late in the weekend, we have the opportunity for these scattered thunderstorms to move through the region. And maybe an isolated shot at a lingering shower, maybe a storm here on Monday. But otherwise, uh, we're going to be turning warmer uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday at the end of our forecast period. And we're going to have temperatures approaching 90 again. By the time we get into early next week, especially in our southeastern area. So it's going to turn warmer again uh, for at least a couple days. And then it uh, looks like we're back to partly cloudy skies here on Tuesday with that frontal boundary off to our south. Uh, but we will have temperatures, again, close to 90 degrees on your Tuesday. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for July 21st, 2021. Have a great Wednesday.